Hello everybody, this is Backblast. Welcome back to the Tower of Deadly Monsters. We're up here, uh, about to enter the to massive fan thing. Filmmaking. So let's have a go at have this. Have the hero do absolutely Danger. nothing from Your time speed to time. Is not enough to pass through that fan. Chance of death 100%. Okay. Retrieve the time vortex device if you wish to go any further. Okay, what's the time vortex Searching. device? Time vortex device detected. Device in dangerous area. Nuclear amps everywhere. Okay, well where's that? Where is it? Where's, the, where's that on the map? Quite understand where it is or how to get to it. How's that? Yes, the giant fan. Uh, it's in a dangerous area, but I do need to get there in order to. Oh, it's down there. Okay, I see it. Okay, it was down there when when the camera panned round. Then I saw it. So it's sort of over this way to the right, down here. No, not that way. Not that way. You fool. Right to the edge, maybe. No, it's down here somewhere anyway, I can see the thing on the map. Uh, we can we can jump off here, can't we? Oh, look at that. It's one of those targets. Let's have a go at that one. Oh, I can't see it from here. So let's try and land down here somewhere, eh? You got the wrong footage. I pressed, I pressed the C. I pressed C. Let's get me back up. So the giant fan, here it is, here it is. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And I'm going straight off here. Yeah, I'm just going to die on it. No idea where I am or where I need to go, but you know. Okay, it's pointing in this direction though. Oh, you're alright. Nothing but doom lies ahead, but I'm not going that way. I'm, it's pointing this way. The arrow is pointing down here on my map. Okay. Okay into this lair, which I vaguely remember from earlier on. Okay, is it open now? Oh no, it's saying this way. Uh, okay, I can't get into that. Oh, doing a strange thing. Okay, shooting bars there. Come this way, mate. Let's, uh, we're going in here. What do these two chaps say? They're quite happy to just let me go to my doom. So, do we get any backstory on Dick? Why did he travel to Gravoria in the first place? Did he do any research before landing there? Did he have a specific mission in that region of space? Patrick, Patrick, if you keep getting bogged down by the details, how will you ever learn to just sit back and appreciate the work of art for what it is? Ladies and gentlemen, no matter how sunny it is, don't store your paper mache props outdoors. They will get rained on. It's the law in this town, like Occam's Razor or Stockholm Syndrome, or <laughs> I forget what it's called. Okay. Checkpoint Nuclear Ant Island. Okay. Oh, there's the robot. What in the cosmos? It's my co-pilot's body. I, I believe that I can repair it. Uh, watch your back, mate. Oh no! I am trapped. Oh dear. Oh, it's a lady coming. Master Dick, 
Master Dick. He's repaired himself. Look. He's twisted his wires together. Functions restored. Oh, am I playing him? Threat detected. Must eliminate. Fun fact. And we actually had an actor inside the robot suit moving him around. I bet you thought it was an actual robot, huh? That's how good he was. No rest breaks or anything. Hardest working actor I've ever met. What a trooper. It was a shame we couldn't afford to pay him. And of course, since he wasn't on the payroll, I couldn't officially add him to the credits. But still, what a trooper. Wish I had a dozen actors like him. Acid will radiation detected. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's gonna be a massive ant at the end of this. No, no, we didn't use the same material for the toxic waste as we did the slimes. I mean, why fix something when you have the real deal available? We found a place where people were just dumping the stuff away for free. I was hoping the crew members handling it might get some cool superpowers from it, but no, nothing like that. I just ran all the way around the factory without finding an entrance. Yep, okay. Well, how do I get in there? Is there a doorway or something? Can I climb up this? Okay. So there's no way past there. In range, so that's good. I don't think we need to upgrade anything. Do we need to upgrade the flamethrower? Uh, where am I? Flame is that the flamethrower? I need two gold to upgrade that. It's not going to do that yet. Yep, okay, I don't mind these. Okay, we can go in now. We could go in before. an alternative type of tower. Now I don't know what these blue things are. 
Yep, still don't know what they are. Oh, hello. It's with the flying ant. Do I need to shoot it? Oh no, it's bringing it up for me. That's fine, thank you for that. I will strike down upon you with make vengeance some furious anger. <laughs> Oh dear. No, no, another fake scene. <laughs> Maybe we can. Oh, what? Seriously? It's a long way round here. There was a cog at the end. So, is it going to say that I've still got this cog, or is it going to make me go all the way around to collect it again? Cog. No, the cog's gone. Right, okay, so there wasn't anything else down there. And I went over to the machines to have a look at maybe upgrading the weapons, but... <laughs> Dangerous radiation detected. Alien slimes terminated. Gonna open the goo now, let me through. No? Okay. Now open the goo and let me through. Open the goo and let me through. There we go. Man, how am I going to manage this? So we get a cutscene now, don't we? Big ant. Carrying his ragdoll body. Obviously just a ragdoll. Right, so I think what we do is we don't run with that. What we do is we try and get rid of these. I will strike down upon you with great vengeance and furious anger. Okay. health rapidly. We, we, we don't need any more of this, thank you. Oh, can we get on it? Come on, get on it, get on it. Might help.
don't worry, I have the right clip now. I think. <sighs> Oh no, I have to go through this bit. Okay. Oh, okay. Dangerous radiation detected. All it made with extreme prejudice. Slimes terminated. do is come back down here checkpoint okay and then we should be able to go straight up and then next time no messing about all right right let's see if we can kite this ant okay come on where's the cutscene thank you Kiting at the end. Enemies coming from below. I will strike down upon you with great vengeance and furious anger. You're all right, and you saved the day. Your your threat eliminated. Looks like the Emperor's days are numbered. There's a ghost ship. At long last, we have assembled our team. A lot of reviewers and fans too always wondered why we shot so few scenes with all three heroes in it together. I mean, we did our best to explain it. Something about the sleep chambers or staying back to protect the ape village. Really, it was just logistics. Jonathan had bowling league on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and, and Stacy had her karate Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Honestly, we almost never had all of them on the set at the same time. <laughs> Our robot actor was in some religion that only allowed him to work on Sundays. I'm still a little skeptical about that one, though. Sir, it's just a guy in a suit. Couldn't you have gotten just about anyone to stand in as the robot? See? That's why you'd make a horrible director, Patrick. His touches were subtle, to say the least. But he really brought a lot of character to the robot role. If he was so indispensable, how come he didn't list the actor in the credits? Well, let's just say it was an oversight. But I've learned my lesson. I only made the mistake six more times throughout my career. And that's where I'm going to leave it today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know if you liked this series. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's any other games you want me to play or anything else about this game that you want to tell me because I'm missing something obvious. Um, if you like the channel, please subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, please tell other people. I'll be back last. I'll see you later.